Hey guys, Toy Phoenix here, and today we've got another Transformers Studio Series unboxing. So here we have Crankcase from uh, The Dark of the Moon. So this is number 30 in the Studio Series. I apologise if there's too much light reflecting to see him, but I'll get him out of the box shortly. So, there he is. Comes with the... Uh, Backdrop, I believe that's like a motorway scene or highway scene because he appears in Dark of the Moon chasing down um, Sentinel, Sentinel Prime, I believe. So, a bit of a battle on the, the motorway. So, let's get him out of the box and take a look. So, Okay, so we've got instructions. This is 20 steps to this transformation. Have a look at them in a moment. Here is his diorama. Uh, so it looks like it's a street scene, so after they've come off the motorway, and I think they're fighting iron hikes. There's three of these guys, um, all a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, I believe they're fighting Ironhide at this point. So, there he is. Quite a cool looking character. Let's get him out of his restraints and we'll take a closer look. So, here he is. Here's Crankcase. Nice looking figure. He does have two weapons, which you can either store on his back. Oops. If they stay on. There's one. There's two. I'm not 100% sure that's the correct placement of them, but uh, sometimes the instructions are difficult to see. Or you can keep them in hand, like so. But I'll move them aside for now. I do like um, how they molded the sort of dreadlocks and things for this character. With the dreads and everything, he almost reminds me a bit of the character Fulgo from Killer Instinct. Um, he's a nice figure. Lots of articulation with the shoulders, um, elbows, hands moving in and out, yeah. legs, the ball joints on the hips, so lots of movement. Knees, you can turn as well, and a little bit of foot on your little. But I think he's a very nice figure, nice sculpt of the head there as well. It's going to be interesting to uh, transform him and hide these, but let's have a look. Okay. Oh, it's falling over. There we go. So there he is in his robot mode. Let's get him transformed, shall we? Okay, so I've had a little go and he's a bit fiddly to be honest, but let's have a go. So he's took up there, um, come down the arms. Let's get rid of these hands, shall we? That joins up there. And the arms come up. Oh, I think his legs just come off my hand. Stick that back on. There we go. Okay. Hands up. So, onto the legs. Let's bring them together. There. Bring them up. Okay, so it's sort of taken form, but here's the tricky bit now. It's a bit confusing what I want to be able to do with. There we go, let's put them down there. And they sort of 
go through and then you bring this this basically hides most of it so you've got these bits here sorry pop it in there we go and all that goes down there and say so it's a bit fiddly with it looks really cool with um, the dreadlocks, but it's a nightmare to disguise them and hide them and actually work with them. So let's get that in. Same again. Click this side in. If those dreadlocks want to disappear for me. There we go. Right then there. That clicks in there. See, so it's taking shape, it's taking clips there, put them the doors. There we go. Almost graceful pose, is it? Oh. And together when it's not coming apart again. I see there we go. There. Click, click, click. Okay, and now if I'm reading instructions right, it's literally just a case of tuck these in as best you can all comes apart when you do it though okay, well, let's lift the head of the way stick them under yeah. all those bits in there and under I certainly feel I'll be displaying this guy and there's robot mode because the vehicle mode is just a pain oh you know what guys I'm just gonna be done with it <laughs> yeah there he is in his vehicle mode it's been an accident he's a bit trashed it's such a nightmare with these I say they look nice um but actually using them and transforming him is just horrid but there we go i apologize to all transformers fans out there i've let you down not being able to transform him fully oh, there he goes. oh things are clicking in but yeah it's just those bits oh well when he is in vehicle mode I mean it's a shame you can see his fingers well not his fingers sorry that's his toes you can see his toes and things um, so it's I mean it's a nice enough model very detailed everything but yeah I just I don't like it in vehicle mode so these are just a nightmare it does say as well you can put these weapons on the sides just clip them in but as i say i think i'll be displaying him in his robot mode um yeah not my favorite figure he, i mean he looks nice but to actually transform or do anything with he's not my favorite but he's another one for the collection so there you go guys here's another transformers video for you as ever please like and subscribe and thanks for watching take care guys